Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to your July Taroscopes with me, Intuitive Renee. Quite excited to bring July Taroscopes to you. Let me just take a second before we get to, into too many details to explain what a Taroscope is, how it works and why you should be watching. So Taroscopes are something I release once a month. I do Taroscopes in the last week of each month for the month ahead and I record 12 individual readings, one reading for each sign of the zodiac. Each reading uses the same spread or the same layout but I change obviously I shuffle and draw cards on camera so that the reading is completely uh, clear to each one of you and whatever your sun sign is or if you're interested you can do your moon sign and your rising sign as well but your sun sign is the most is the main one that the taroscopes is done around. Um, so whatever your sun sign is you basically go to that sign of the zodiac and you watch the video and it gives you guidance detailed guidance for the month ahead so in this particular case we're looking at the month of july 2022 um, and i'm going to stick to the same format or layout or spread that i used in the last couple of months because it just it seems to give substance it seems to give quite a lot of information the idea behind these taroscopes is not so much fortune telling because that's not really something i enjoy doing in these videos what i enjoy or i set the intention is that these videos be a guide a guide to help you navigate the month in whichever way you need to because these are um, for the collective because it's for everybody who has Aries or Pisces or Scorpio um, whatever the, the, the zodiac sign is that's a lot of you okay so to take the whole universe and everybody on it and categorize them into 12 little groups you know is, is very broad so I, I try not get too specific in the readings I try and keep it as open-minded as possible but really just to help you navigate and um, to give you the insight to the guide Gardens and the motivation that you need to handle the month in the best way that you can. So it will be applicable to so many different things that you deal with. And I get a lot of people messaging me saying, how did how did you get it to be so specific to my own circumstances? And really what that is, is because the, the, the reading is for the collective in general, you know, you are able to, to take the situations and to almost translate them into your circumstances. And it does fit, it does work. Um, so that is the motivation or the idea behind the taroscope. So I do record one intro. So this that you're listening to right now, I stick in the front of each of the individual readings just to save me having to say this 12 times. Um, so I record 12 individual readings and I, and I put them up as 12 separate videos. So if you are watching whatever zodiac sign you are watching right now, but you want to jump to another one to, to check on your moon sign or to check a family member or a significant other's zodiac for the month, the Taroscope, if you open up the description below, you will see I have links to each of the 12 zodiacs for July 2022. For this month, though, I am changing the cards that I work with. Um, every month I like to change cards because I like to play with my different cards. So this month I am going to, my main tarot deck that I'm going to work with is the Lightseer's Tarot. Lightseer's Tarot created by Chris Ann Donnelly. She's an amazing, beautiful soul, beautiful energy. So she created this deck and I call this my workhorse. Um, it, it's a deck I reach for when whenever I need a little bit of guidance and for most of my client readings it is a staple in my collection. I'm going to pair that up with another deck by Chris Ann Donnelly by the same creator of the Lightseers and that is the Sacred Creators Oracle and this is going to set out our theme or give us our tone for the month ahead from the Sacred Creators Oracle and at the end of the reading before we finish off I'm going to finish off with a card from the Earthcraft Oracle as well. So all in all we're going to have 11 cards that we're going to deal with for each sign of the zodiac so that's detailed you know that's giving you quite a lot of, of information. Um, the video stays up on YouTube all the time, so you can come back to it as often as you need to. So if you want to say, you know, a couple of days into the month, if you want to come and just do a check in on how you're navigating, what are the things that you should be focusing on and just double checking yourself, you're welcome to do that. Do it again in the middle of the month and then just before the end of the month as well. Just like as you are listening to me now, your June taroscopes are still up for viewing. So maybe pop over and see how you did. You know, what were you supposed to be focusing on versus what you were focusing on? How far off are you? And then when you look at July, it can put a lot of things into perspective for you as well. Um, friends, these, these videos, I love bringing them to you, but it would be nice if um, you could just show some love and uh, support the channel to make sure that I keep coming back and bringing you this content by giving the video a thumbs up and uh, comment below is always so valued 
valued and appreciated. And if you haven't already done so, please do click that subscribe button. So I'm going to stop chatting and let's get straight into your reading. Right, Aries, let's have a look and see what the month of July has in store for you. This is the Sacred Creators Oracle by Chrisanne Donnelly. And I'm going to shuffle and choose just a single card from this deck, which is going to set the tone of the month of July for you. All right, so Aries, what is the tone? What is the sort of, I, I hesitate to use the word theme. So we're just going to say the tone for the month ahead. Let's give the cards a proper nice shuffle. I did shuffle before I started recording, but I like to shuffle when I have you on camera just to keep everything transparent. All right. So Aries, we're looking for the tone of the month, the tone of July 2022 for all of you. And we have a card, right? Let's put the deck away and let's have a look and see what is the tone of July 2022 for Aries energy. And we've got unstick the stuck love that unstick the stuck so it's card number 46 now immediately what i get with this if you unstick something that is stuck is you are freeing it you are releasing it you are unburdening it but it's also about un it's also about recognizing what it is that's stuck because if you don't know what is stuck you can't unstuck it you can't unstick it <laughs> so it's about acknowledging what aspect of your life what part of your life what part of you isn't progressing isn't moving is maybe stuck and trapped and then seeing what you can do to unstick that so i am going to leave unstick the stuck over there and that's where it's going to live for the balance of the reading here is my um Lightseer's Tarot, which is going to be the main deck that we use today. So I'm going to give it a good shuffle and then I'm going to lay out all the cards and then I will take you through the reading to see what the month of July actually has in store for you. All right, so let's give the cards a good shuffle. This is my, my workhorse. This deck has been used and abused so much and it works just so beautifully. All right. Cards have got a bit of a shuffle to them. And again, I did shuffle before starting. So I have got quite a few uh, um, quite a few cards that I need to place. So let's do this. Let's place them all down and then I will turn them over and give the message. So I'm going to do them one by one. And uh, hopefully I could get them neat and tidy. I'm terrible with this though. I never get them neat and tidy. I can see I'm going skew already. Okay, five down there, and then I need four over here. Right, we have our cards laid out. And I think even before I turn them over and start talking, I'm going to draw from the oracle. So I'm going to stick an oracle here, which is going to sort of tie in the whole reading and and sort of give us final message final confirmation and it's interesting to take it beforehand before so i haven't set the intention around what the reading is about or anything one card has jumped but that's just me and my bad shuffling right just giving these a good shuffle and let's just have a look and see which one wants to come through Adds a bit of color to the table too. <laughs> right, so all the shuffling is done. All the cards are on the table. Let's get straight into it. All right, so Aries. The first card that we're looking at is the card that represents you as you come into the month of July. So as July starts off, a card that represents you, and we have the card of Temperance. Temperance is such a beautiful card. So you can see that he's an angelic being, or is there maybe an angelic being standing behind him, supporting him? He's sitting there, and he's got the sun in one hand, and he's got the moon in the other. And you can see there's this kind of this kind of energy surrounding the two. Now, we're talking about light and dark. We're talking about good and bad. We're talking about yes and no. We're talking about opposites. And basically what he's doing is he's trying to find balance in the opposites in his life. So it could be your emotions and your work. It could be your work and your finances. It's the taking two areas of life, two aspects of yourself, opposite aspects, aspects that maybe have nothing to do with each other, but everything to do with each other. And it's about trying to find that blend, trying to find that balance. So Aries, this is you as you step into the month of July. You're still trying to find your space. You're still trying to find yourself. You're still trying to find what is important and significant to you. And, you know, I think... 
we all do that, don't we? We're constantly looking at our lives and we're constantly looking at our situation and we're constantly looking at our circumstances and we're trying to find balance. So Aries, this is you as you step into the month, as July starts, you're sort of trying to find balance between work and finances and emotions and spirituality and physical and all of these kind of things. So that is you as you step into the month. So we've got our, this unstick, the stuck that we have here, we're sort of setting the tone, okay? And this is also, I think Temperance is saying how we're trying to understand what is stuck. We're trying to understand what is, what needs un, unsticking, if I can put it that way. What we're now going to have a look at with our second card is a, an actual theme for the month ahead. So here we have the tone of the reading. Um, now we're going to have a look at what is the theme for the month ahead. And here we've got the Five of Swords. I, I almost expected that. Considering our tone is to unstick whatever is stuck. And as I said when I first turned that card over, it's about identifying what is stuck. Because you can't fix something if you don't know it's broken. So it's about identifying what is broken. Then we had the card that depicts you, Aries, as the card of temperance, which is about trying to find balance. So the theme is one of worry and stress, because that's what this card is about. You can see our, our fella, our gentleman here, you can see he looks a bit stressed. You know, when we're worried and stressed, we're all seem to scratch the head a little bit. Um, and he's got this little bird going in his ear the whole time. So he's feeling very anxious. Somebody else is feeling fabulous, all right? Somebody else has managed to walk away feeling great, but he's not. The other thing I want to say is this person seems to be ethereal. This person seems to be not really of this world. So he is very stressed, but everybody else around him isn't stressed at all. It seems to be that it's just him. And Aries, what this is basically saying to you is the theme for July. It is about experiencing the challenges find what noticing that there is an imbalance so that you can and obviously it worries you it affects you it, it concerns you and you're going to go about doing everything that you can to bring the balance to unstick the stuck and to overcome the anxiety the stress the the, the, the feelings that you are experiencing during the month all right our next card, Aries, is what you will accomplish, okay? So something that you will actually get through or something that you will manage to do during the month. So what will you accomplish? You will overcome. I love this. So the Tower card is normally a card we do not want to see in a Tarot reading, okay? Because the Tower card talks about devastation and destruction and things collapsing and falling down. But we know that. <laughs> We've already got that. And as a card of what you will accomplish, it means that you will overcome whatever is stressing you out. So whatever causes this imbalance, whatever causes the stress and anxiety during the month, whatever it is that needs unsticking, okay, you are going to unstick, you are going to resolve. So you probably, as you come into the month, you're already starting to get that feeling that things are not quite where they need to be. As you start the month, you're already feeling a little bit uneasy. And yes, it's probably going to bring about stress. That's life, you know, we, we accept that. But this as a card of what you will accomplish, this is spirit saying it doesn't matter how bad things get, it doesn't matter how stressful or anxious or nervous you become, you will actually be okay. You will overcome the tragedy, the 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 heartache, the disappointment, the whatever it is, whatever this negative is that comes into your space that causes worry, you are going to accomplish resolution. You are going to resolve it and be okay. I like that actually. But in order to do that, we have to unstick the stuck. We have to acknowledge the insecurities, the fears, the doubts, the feelings that we are going through. All right. So in order to accomplish this, in order to overcome this, we're going to have a look at what is it that you need to avoid at all costs during the month of July. What do you need to avoid? And what we have over here, and, and this is interesting, <laughs> because this is the card of legacy. This is the card of, you know, having everything your heart desires. This is the card of, you know, having enough money to support your family and being happy and all of those kind of things. And in the position of what to avoid, I think it's saying, stop, you need to avoid doing what feels right, what society and family pressures are putting on you. Avoid 
doing that because maybe sticking to that is what's causing the problem, the stress and the anxiety. So you need to avoid doing what is expected of you and you need to do what feels right. So I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm, I'm changing the, the interpretation ever so slightly because Aries, you need to avoid, I want to say being doing what is expected. You need to avoid doing what society expects of you and you need to do what feels right because it's the only way that you are going to unstick the stuck. It's the only way that you are going to recognize what is causing you discomfort, what is causing you heartache, what is causing you stress and anxiety. And only when you've identified what's causing you stress and anxiety, only then can you repair it and fix it. And we need to disconnect from family, disconnect from social responsibilities, disconnect from social expectations. Let me use that words rather. Um, so avoid doing what is expected of you not from a defiant point of view but just from a point of view of I'm going to do what I want I'm going to do what's right for me I'm putting me first and not always considering the needs wants and desires of the community okay so that is what you need to avoid this is what you need to embrace so Aries let's have a look and see what during the month of July 2022 do you need to embrace yeah you see so this is the the conflict card, okay? Just, just to put it in a single word, this is the card of conflict. And you can see that everybody's fighting everybody else. It's not like this person's fighting that person. They've actually got their backs to each other. He's trying to get there. He's also trying to get there. This person's fighting that one. This one's trying to fight that one. There, there's just chaos everywhere. And everybody's actually aiming for the same thing, but they're going about it in a different way, which means some people are going to fall, some people are going to succeed, and some people are just going to get trod on. OK, so this is what you need to embrace. And I think that's exactly what this message is saying, Aries. It's coming through so loud and so clearly. You need to embrace the challenges, embrace the conflicts, embrace the people who don't like what it is that you avoid doing. So when you turn around and say, you know what, I'm not doing that for you anymore. They're going to be unhappy with you. And that's OK, because we actually need to unstick the stuck. OK, and and sometimes we have to go through that challenge. Sometimes we have to go through that difficult difficulty in order to bring balance. And just to show you again, it's the balance between night and day, dark and light. Yes and no, whatever it is. That's what the temperance card is. The temperance card is about finding balance in all that you are and all that you do. And the only way that you're going to do that is by standing up for yourself, not doing the things that is expected of you, but doing the things that you want to do, the things that bring you happiness, joy, and success. All right, Aries, coming down the bottom here. Our next card that we're going to look at is an obstacle that you have to overcome. When we spoke about avoid, we were talking about, you know, do, do your best to avoid that. Do your best to not get into that kind of a situation. But this is an obstacle that you more, you will more than likely, 99% likelihood that you will um, um, meet this, that you will face this, okay? So this is an obstacle that you absolutely need to work through. You cannot avoid it. That was avoid, all right? We cannot avoid this. This is something, an obstacle that we have to process, that we have to navigate during the month of July. And the obstacle is, gosh... The seven of swords i'm saying gosh because you know we, we're really getting a whammy and i say we aries because i am also aries so you know this is as much for me as it is for you so <laughs> we're in this together aries we're in this together all right seven of swords and and as i said this is an obstacle this is something that you need to work through this is something that you need to process you need to overcome seven of swords is the card of thievery deceit and taking what isn't yours all right so i don't know if you need to do that or if it is going to be done to you but i being being an optimist as i am and you if you've been following my channel for a while you will know that i am a forever optimist so i don't like this card to be thievery and deceit which is its textbook interpretation for me it's about taking opportunities but it's a warning for you to to make sure that there's careful planning you can't just go around plucking feathers off the birds if you haven't planned and thought it through. Because if you haven't planned and thought it through, you are invariably going to fail because the birds are going to scream loudly. They're going to call their friends and you are going to get attacked. But if there's a little bit of planning and, you know, and, and if you the objective is to get feathers, 
um, with a little bit of planning and foresight, you can achieve so much. So this is coming through in an obstacle that you have to overcome. So there is clearly something that you need to do which goes against the grain, your grain, whatever your grain is. There is clearly something that you need to do which makes you feel uncomfortable, which makes you feel uneasy. And the message that's coming through here, Aries, is don't just rush into it, all right? Because if you rush in, you are invariably going to get caught out and you are invariably going to fail. But with a little bit of planning, a little bit of strategy, a little bit of thought into what it is that you need to do, you will find a plan, a way, a method of achieving it and doing it without bringing chaos into your world. So remember, this is an obstacle. This is probably something you have to, at some point, you are going to have to do something which feels ugly, which feels horrible, which feels awful, which puts you in a difficult position. That's almost a guarantee, okay? But if you just, typical Aries, rush in, Head first, ram first, you will fail. You will not succeed. You will have a difficult time of it. So the obstacle is unavoidable. But if you just plan, think about it before rushing in, you will actually find a way of resolving, overcoming, and completing the task that needs to be completed. Our next card that we have, Aries, is the card of support. So this is the support that Spirit have for you or the support that is around you to help you navigate what looks to be a challenging month. So support available to you, we have got the Six of Swords. So Aries, the Six of Swords is the card of finding support in strange places. So the story of the card goes, this young lady decided that she was very unhappy in her circumstance. Her life was, was not great. It was terrible. So she decided she, had, she wanted a new beginning. So she climbed in the boat with all her possessions. So here we have her little suitcase. She's climbed into the boat with all her possessions, but she has no way of steering the boat. So she just allowed the waves and the currents and whatever to take her. So she's arriving on the shore. But how is she arriving? Well, birds who were causing her trouble and harm previously, causing her trouble and harm previously, the birds have actually come to her rescue. They have found some string, which she's tied to the front of the boat, and each bird grabbed a string, and they've literally pulled her to safety. So it's about accepting help from sources that you wouldn't expect them from. The Six of Swords is saying, okay, recognizing that you're looking for a fresh start, that you're looking for a way of doing things a bit differently, that you're looking for a way of changing your circumstance. You can't do it on your own. Well, you can, but it'll be really difficult. Um, and if any strange circumstance comes up of help and assistance, just say thank you, okay? Just accept the help, regardless of where it's coming from, because this is how spirit work. When you find yourself in a difficult situation, okay, when you find yourself having to unstick the stuck, spirit will always support you, spirit will always be there to help you, but they will send help in strange and unusual ways. So when somebody knocks on the door and says, hey, can I pull you to shore? We often go, oh, no, 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 it's fine. I can handle it on my own. We're, we're so used to saying no, thank you. We're so used to having to be strong and independent. And then spirits say, well, you know, you say you want help. I'm sending you help and then you're sending the help away. So don't send the help away. All right, Aries, if somebody offers to help you in whatever way this month, just say thank you. Okay, good. Let's have a look. We've got some um, action, something that you need to implement, something that you need to start, something that you need to, to get going during the month of July. And Aries, the card for that, I love that. It is the card of Aries. It is the Ram, okay? Um, Aries is... Aries is, rules the emperor, all right? So look at him. I mean, he's sitting on Mars, <laughs> and he is so comfortable. He looks like he's just made for that chair, if I can put it that way. He is a master chess player, okay? He is in control. There's our big Aries ram. The horn's so strong and so thick and so powerful. So he's very much in control. He knows. So he's playing chess with a solid mindset. He's playing the life. He's playing life as a solid mindset. He, he's not allowing himself to become overly anxious or overly concerned or overly nervous. Now, this card as the action that you need to employ, the action that you need to adapt, adopt, or put into motion, it's about putting your emotions aside and just get on with 
the game recognizing that life is a game so the emperor is also somebody who who has his plans he has his strategy he knows exactly what it is he needs to and wants to to achieve and he just gets on and does it he doesn't wait for you know perfect moment and you know he doesn't wait for for the planets to be aligned he just jumps in and gets busy clicks his fingers and gets things done and this is who we need to be but we need to make sure that there's a plan our emperor has a plan he is very much a strategist, okay? He always has his strategic plans in place, and all he does is execute. And this is what we need to do, Aries. We need to remove emotion because there is a lot of emotion happening this month. There's a lot of in in insecurities. There's a lot of anxieties and doubts and fears. There's a lot happening this month. And the best way is to have a plan. Don't do anything without a plan, without a strategy, all right? No changes, nothing in your life unless you have a solid strategy plan that you are comfortable with and that you fully understand because we want to unstick the stuck and we want to avoid the stress and the anxiety as much as possible. So the action is get a plan, stick to the plan. Do not deviate from the plan. It doesn't matter what the other side does. It doesn't matter what the other person does. We're going to stick to the plan and just execute the plan without emotion because emotion is what leads us astray and causes us to get into tricky situations and finally Aries this is just additional advice from spirit as is this card over here so let's have a look and just see additional advice from spirit anything else that spirit wants you to know at this point and we've got oh, I love this card the king of pentacles this man he is so comfortable he is so established he is so settled he is so I think comfortable is the only word I can use with his life, with everything. You can see his bookshelves are full. In my case, they are tarot shelves. Tarot shelves, his library is full of knowledge, of inspiration, of guidance. He's got his trusty companion with him. He has everything his heart desires and so much more. And Aries, this is exactly what Spirit is saying to you. You need to be this person. You are this person. But if you allow the anxiety and the stress and the panic to take over, you will not be this person. These two gentlemen are both very confident in themselves, very confident in their identities, their place in this world. None of these people have that, but these two do. And the only way that you can become this Aries is by unsticking the stuck, by acknowledging to yourself, what is it that isn't in balance? What is not right in your world? Instead of letting it eat you up from the inside, let's deal with it. Okay, let's let's put it in motion. Let's effect. Let's change so that we can be comfortable, happy and settled and established in our life. Do whatever you have to do. But this is where you need to be. Let's have a look, Aries. Our final oracle, and this is from the, what's it called? Earthcraft. <laughs> Earthcraft oracle. What I love about these backs is that we have this earth and we have these hands coming. You know, it's almost like we're coming together as one. So let's have a look and see. Earthcraft oracle, what is the message that it has for you, Aries, today? Abundance. Card number one, abundance. Of course, Aries, of course. So abundance, it's not talking about finances. It's not talking about emotions it's not talking about anything in particular abundance is a thought on its own it's a it's a concept all on its own and abundance means plenty okay it means more of that there is so much available to you okay and Aries the message that I get for you from the abundance card is you can either have an abundance of stress or an abundance of calmness of solitude of happiness of joy, of tranquility, of comfort, of contentment, okay? So it depends on how you tackle it, it depends on how you navigate, it depends on the way that you respond to the things that are going on for you in July as to what the way that you will end up. But I think if you keep your wits about you, if you keep your emotions at, in check and keep your emotions at bay and not allow yourself to be influenced in any way, if you're able to do that, you will have an abundance of success, an abundance of happiness, an abundance of joy, an abundance of prosperity. Like, honestly, that's the way that it comes through. So Aries, it looks like we are in for a tough one, but it also looks like we will succeed. It also looks like that we will have all the support that we need from spirit as long as we don't get caught up in the chaos. So I'm standing with you. <laughs> Together, we will unstick the stuck 
together we will overcome and together we will be okay so Aries thank you for being with me I look forward to connecting with your energy again soon as as and as always with love and blessings from my heart to yours and until we connect again take care Aries <music>